Well, welcome back, everyone. Uh, an exciting start to 2023, indeed, with massive moves on FANG stocks, uh, in particular Tesla, Apple, and Microsoft. How does this forebode um, action over the next uh, uh, several days to a week uh, until we hear from the big banks on uh, Friday the 13th? Well, let's take a quick look at the index together. And as you can tell on the S&P 500, this is the E-minis. These are daily candlestick charts with lots of colorful levels over here. Going back to the midpoint of December, we've been in a trading range, and that range has been um, uh, for the ES uh, uh, roughly uh, around the 3,900 area, all the way down to uh, words uh, the uh, 3,800 area, just slightly below. Now, as we come into the end of the day today and uh, uh, markets tick away into their close, we can see that we are somewhere closer to the middle of the range. Now, in a market like this that is range bound, that is not broken down, has not broken out, has had obviously a negative move, uh, but has not continued that negative move, range trading tactics, intraday type trades uh, can become more prominent in one's decision making, but it has to come with uh, uh, some tools that can give us objectivity in our decision making. So in the live active trader room over at becomebettertrader.com where I share insights uh, to folks uh, across wealth charts and uh, the BBT community, um, and uh, Rob's a big proponent of uh, the community aspect sharing insights, and uh, what I try to do is uh, provide live insights and of course trade live in front of uh, uh, members of the active trader room. Got to do some of that today and I'm going to show you how some objective tools help me with my decisions. I've taken that chart uh, that you were just looking at a moment ago, uh, that daily candlestick chart, that last green bar that you're looking at right over there. I've taken that chart effectively and broken it out into five minute increments. So this is what the day overall looked like from uh, uh, pre-market over to where we are right now. And you can tell we had a nice little bounce off from 10 a.m., 10, 10 a.m., uh, got that big push up, hit a resistance structure, came down, and, and really the, the big negative part of the move started as we were getting uh, the release of the FOMC meeting minutes. But if you look at the chart and you go, well, where exactly do I hit the long button or the short button? Where's the higher probability moment? Um, one can use levels, but again, right over here, you know, we had a level break and it just turned right back around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply indications on my Wealth Charts platform here that are available to those that are annual Wealth Charts subscribers. So these indications that I'm going to be showing you right now come with the annual Wealth Charts membership. Now you've got things like the zone in the back, the sell zones and the buy zones. That's part of the Champion Trend Pack. You've got these dashes that are breakout forecaster. You've got the dots over here, which are momentum shifts, positive, and you've got negative momentum shifts, as you can see over here. You've got IRB reverse sells and buys, um, and of course, you've got um, the wealth signal short and uh, breakout or breakdown signals uh, on the chart, which are those uh, powder blue dots there. You've also got the MSR indications. Now, this is a lifetime of work that Rob has put into markets, all condensed into a handy and effective package of indications that are available to all that are annual members on Wealth Trust. And I'm just giving you a slice of day trading using some of the tools. There's much, much more available on the platform. Also, at the bottom of the screen, you can see the momentum spike tool uh, uh, in the subchart. Now, all of these tools have uh, a little bit of knowledge has to be gained to learn how to use them, but I'm gonna show you where I took my short today um, and I was able to uh, uh, gain a, a fairly decent uh, uh, gain on that. And again, not something that I'm going to promise I do every day and can, can do every day, uh, but I'm gonna show you where the signals gave me a, a moment where I could take a confident short trade. So as you can see, we are coming towards 2 p.m. where we knew there was news coming out. Typically, one does not necessarily want to be in a position into news unless they've got high conviction, high risk tolerance. One wants to get the news, get the directional signal, and then trade through that uh, through uh, or after that. Now, in this particular case, I did both. And um, I had a view that we were likely to see the FOMC meeting minutes that were released at 2 p.m. Eastern time today be a reminder that the Fed is going to probably be uh, you know, hawkish and inflation is not under control yet. And that is indeed what actually happened. Now, uh, leading into 2 p.m., so you can see the crosshairs at the bottom of the screen for the time prints, okay, leading into 2 p.m., the MSR indicators, in particular the speed lines, gave me an insight. So one of those insights was the fast speed line, the blue, 
crossed below the magenta speed line. So there's a shift in immediate direction on a five minute to five minute bar basis. We then, as we approach 2 p.m. at the 1.55 p.m. candle, started to move down through the three bar, three lines over here, which are the channel, and perforated the bottom. This gave me the conviction that being short into the event was viable, but again, it's still news. So I, I would rather you know, have the event happen and break the bottom of the channel for the bigger position size. And indeed, at 2 p.m. when the data was released, that is exactly what happened. Now, we came down below the bottom of the channel, transitioned from a buy zone to a neutral zone, and very quickly saw the champion trend pack and the IRB strategies fire off to support a short side decision. We had a brief counter trend bounce that did not make it above the top of the channel and had another shorting opportunity where we got a wealth signal breakdown or short signal and post that had a break out forecaster. So this was a breakdown uh, uh, suggesting that we were likely going to come down. Uh, and indeed we did. Now, I haven't spoken a lot about the spike tool at the bottom of the screen, but a very valuable tool indeed. Leaning into that 2 p.m. moment, we did see the slow spike green line cross below its signal line. And as it um, crossed below, we saw the fast spike, the blue line come down towards the bottom of the channel and understood that this move on that green line, once through the center of the channel, can support continued negativity. Guess what? It was actually below the center leading into that 2 p.m. marker. Now again, all of these indications gave me the ability to take a confident short into and after that 2 p.m. moment. Uh, and I was able to do that live in front of active trader room members. I'll give you a little view of uh, the, the results on that. And again, this was a live trade in my account. Uh, uh, and this was something that I did live in front of members today, as I do in the active trader room on a very regular basis. Uh, but I'm not going to uh, claim that I can uh, create these kind of results all the time. I can claim that when the tools give me a signal or a set of signals that give me a higher probability for a day trade, um, uh, that confident trading can happen. Now, many of you out there might be in that overly cautious or paralyzed type category in markets that are very volatile. Traders, especially day traders, love volatility. Um, and one of the goals that we have uh, as we move into the summit um, uh, in uh, just a, uh, under, under two weeks from now is to provide insight and objective tools that are powerful, as you can see, uh, uh, help make you a better trader. Now, we're not going to guarantee. I'm going to give you my insight, give you my knowledge, share with you how I'm trading the market. I'm also going to be sharing broader views on the market alongside Rob uh, and Lori and uh, Dr. Keith uh, and many other uh, impressive speakers that you continue to vie for to, to be on uh, the agenda. We're looking very much forward to that summit. I'm looking very much forward to seeing you there um, to give you more insight on those tools that you saw me uh, describe to you and I use live in front of members today to gross uh, uh, just over a thousand dollars as you saw and I'm of course going to also provide you my view and outlook on the quarter and where I think uh, things are going to be shaping up for the first half of 2023. So go to joinziad.com just uh, simply type in joinziad.com or click the link in the emailer uh, or at the bottom of this video uh, and uh, get yourself situated for um, a set of great sessions the biggest global online summit right from your home with an impressive lineup of speakers and tools that we're going to be showing you how we use approaches that we take to the market and strategies uh, that um, uh, uh, produce some results. Uh, and of course, uh, I'm not going to claim that it will always work. We have to be able to have risk tolerance and uh, uh, follow the rules and tools to be on the writer side more often than not. Looking forward to seeing you at the summit. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, Rob shouts out a big hi. I was just uh, on the phone with him uh, moments ago, and uh, uh, he's looking forward to, to seeing you for multiple uh, times, speaking engagements during the summit as well. Go to joinzead.com, see you at the summit, and in upcoming videos. Have a great rest of your day, folks, and Happy New Year to you.